Hi, Louisa. Thank you for taking the time to virtually meet with me today. I understand you have some questions about our time and attendance uh, software for Microsoft Teams. Yes, indeed. I do have a few questions for myself and also some from my colleagues. It would be very nice if you could go through the questions. Um, yeah, please feel free to ask me any questions that you or your team members have. i uh, be happy to explain and showcase our exciting uh, software. Perfect. So um, in my role as an HR manager, I would like to know how I can get an overview of all attendances and absences. Um, yeah, that's a great question. Let me pull up the software and uh, we'll start from there. Yes, perfect. Okay, let me know when you can see my screen. Yes, I can see it, thanks. Okay, perfect. So we have two ways um, that, that you can get that overview of attendance and absences, right? Mm -hmm. One of them is simply by checking the absence calendar. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In the absence calendar, it will give you a list of all of your employees and it will tell you if they're available. If not, then why, right? Mm -hmm. So we can see here Patricia Anderson for this particular period is on vacation. So obviously she's not available. Then we can also, if we scroll way down to the bottom, um, we can see that Ella White has five and a half sick days for this particular time period. So you can easily see why she wouldn't be available. Yeah? The other option is to look in attendance. And so attendance will give you all of your team members that uh, that you can see. So for example, your colleague Hanalore for this particular date, um, she had this many hours gross, she took breaks, and this is how many hours she had net. And if she's available, obviously she'll have the, uh, the green. If she's not, um, it could be blank like uh, Peter is, or it could be yellow, uh, meaning she's away from the keyboard for this moment. Ah, oh, okay, that looks good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Sure. Where can I check if employees really work the hours we agreed upon? Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a good one because obviously agreeing on the hours and actually doing them are two different things, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So in daily summaries here, we can mm -hmm. see, for example, on this particular day, Peter Maurer, he was allocated, meaning these are the hours that he's actually supposed to work. So mm -hmm. we can see that he's got eight. And then the hours that he actually attended was eight. So you can see that he did exactly what you expected him to do in terms of working hours. Okay. Can you also show me where I can see if the employees took their breaks? Ah, yeah. Okay. Let me go back to the attendance as well. Mm -hmm. So in attendance, um, much like in the last one that we looked at, we can see the breaks that they took for that given day. Mm -hmm. yeah? So those breaks would obviously, um, as we see here, these are the gross hours that they were working, the breaks, and then you can see the net hours. So it calculates all that for you. Ah, okay, thanks. Perfect. Sure. Yep. So I also have a few questions from our supervisors. Ah, okay. Like, like, for example, how we can ensure a good communication between all the departments. Sure. Yeah, I think that's a that's a challenge for everyone right now. Um, but really, that is that's absolutely what uh, what Teams is so helpful about, right? So you can use Teams for chat messages, for calls, or even video conferences with your colleagues. That way, you can uh, you can remain in contact throughout the day. So if we go here to chat, um, obviously we would have all of our team members in here. And I can simply add everybody as a chat and ask them a, a particular question or what have you, just like this. Hey, can you guys help me out with this topic? Or I can go to a single individual and call them or do a video conference immediately. So Teams is really, really good about being able to keep in contact with, uh, with your team members. That's awesome, perfect. And do you have any idea how I can ensure like a normal daily routine for my employees? Yeah, yeah, actually that's a, that's a bit of a challenge, right? But you can use the calendar. So what I do with my team, for example, is we have a huddle every single day at three or 3.30. Um, and you can set it up to be a recurring meeting um, for uh, touch points to have quick discussions, say, hey, these are the, the workloads for the day. Um, and it kind of, you know, helps replace that, uh, that, that time where you meet with your team on a regular basis to, to plan your day. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Great. Sure. So I also have a question from one of our employees. Yeah. So um, now that she's working from home, how mm. can she handle supervising her kids but also work at the same time? So they have a completely different routine now since, yeah. of course, the kids cannot go to, to kindergarten. Sure, sure, yeah. The um, the daily routines are definitely something that's been uh, been changed quite a bit by this uh, this whole scenario that we're in. Yeah. Um, so that's the beauty of the virtual time clock, right? So now these uh, these employees that are finding that their living room and their office just became uh, the same place, and they're taking you know time from their day to 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 care for their children and whatnot. This is where we can clock in and out and track our breaks. Yeah? So a, a normal scenario start work would be maybe if I'm working in the office. But right now we're in a remote or working from home uh, scenario. So maybe my normal day would start at nine o'clock. But uh, now that the kids are home, maybe I start at seven to get a couple extra hours in before they actually get up. So I'd work those two hours and start at seven by clicking on remote work. And then when the kids get up um, and I need to spend a couple hours with them, I can simply click on start break. And then maybe after lunch or what have you, they're, um, I don't know, not uh, they're playing in their rooms, being good kids, quiet, whatever, and we can get some work done. Um, then we can end the break and, and, and start back up. The good thing is, is it gives you a date and time stamp every time you start work or um, start or end a break. Um, so it's super, super flexible and easy to keep track of. That definitely looks good. Perfect. So yeah. our company has started a new program where we work less hours. So currently we only work at 80%. Okay. Where can I enter and see how many hours I've already worked? Sure. So the virtual time clock is going to be how you enter the hours that you're working, right, to get those gross numbers. But down at the bottom of the virtual time clock, you can see here in your attendance this week, how many hours you've gotten gross over here minus your breaks to get your actual net hours that you worked any given day. And then we have it also in kind of a more visual chart view where the blue is the sum of your net hours and the orange is the sum of your actual breaks. Okay, thank you. Sure. So of course my employees are worried to learn a new software or program and to memorize new passwords. Sure, completely understand that. Uh, I don't think anybody has capacity to to take time away and do some training on something new. Um, so that's Correct. a good thing. You, you, most people are using Teams um, at this point, and they're familiar with it. And uh, so it's not a new software that you have to learn. And you just saw some of the functionalities of the, the time and attendance software. It's relatively easy to use. Um, the other aspect of that is it's a Microsoft product and based on a Microsoft product. So you don't have to learn any new passwords. You can use your Windows password um, that you use every day. That's awesome. Thank you very much for taking the time to answer all of my questions. That has been very helpful. So tell me, how do I get started using this tool? Um, sure. Hey, you know, it was my pleasure, Louisa. Um, thank you as well for taking the time um, to, to review this. It, we've tried to make it as easy as possible. So all you have to do is go to our website, which is dynamics-hr-management.com, and you'll see here that we have a special offer. And by clicking on that, um, you'll see that there's some additional information about uh, the software and how it's set up. And since the 10th of April, we've had this live and, and running. So all you have to do is click on this register now for free. Mm -hmm. And when we say register now for free, we're offering 30 days trial using it live for free. All you have to do is pick the service that you'd like to have, whether it be the premium or the standard service. And then at the very bottom of this, fill in these bits of information. And then one of our customer success managers will contact you immediately um, after receiving your information. Perfect. So I will definitely have a look and thank you very much for your time. Louisa, no problem. I appreciate you uh, as well taking the time and wish you a great day and look forward to working with you in the future.
Have a nice day. Talk to you soon. Yeah, take care.